Hi guys, welcome back for another story. I just really want you guys to know I miss you all so much. And hello to some new friends that aren't even in our class that came for a story. You can be part of our class now. We're glad that you're here. Boys and girls, I really want you to know that right now things do feel really weird. It's weird that we're not in school. And it's weird that I'm not seeing you in person. And if you're feeling happy or sad or nervous or curious or excited or any of those emotions, it's okay. It's okay to be feeling all of those and feeling them at different times every day. It's okay, and I will see you soon, and I really love you guys. Thanks for coming back for more stories. It's a good way for us to feel connected. I love you guys so much. And I have a story today called Rotten Ralph. I loved this story when I was a kid, so I'm excited to read it to you. Ralph is Sarah's rotten cat, but Sarah loves him anyway. What's he doing? Oh. When Sarah practices ballet, Ralph makes fun of her. One afternoon when Sarah was swinging, Rotten Ralph sawed off the branch. Boy, he is rotten. The very next day, Ralph ruined Sarah's party. He had taken a bite out of every one of her cookies. Sometimes you are very hard to love, Ralph, said Sarah. One day, Sarah's father came home early from work. He caught Ralph sitting in his favorite chair. Ralph was wearing father's slippers and blowing soap bubbles through her, his best pipe. You are worse than rotten, Ralph, said father. I wish you wouldn't upset father, Sarah said. The next evening, Ralph smashed his bicycle into the dining room table. Father became very angry. You better straighten up, Ralph, he said. You are a very difficult cat, Ralph, said Sarah. After dinner, Ralph was still hungry. He chased mother's favorite birds. She was very unhappy with Ralph's behavior. One evening, the whole family went to the circus. Everyone was having a great time but Ralph. A dog was barking in his ear. Be quiet, said Ralph, but the dog didn't stop. He kept barking and stomping his paws on the seat. So Rotten Ralph tied some balloons to the dog's collar. The dog floated up over the lion's cage. My dog, shouted the owner, but not even the man on stilts could reach him. Then Ralph saw the trapeze. He swung and knocked over the tightrope walkers. Next, he jumped on a show horse. He pushed the rider off and frightened the elephants. Rotten Ralph has, has gone too far this time, bellowed Father. We are leaving him here. A circus is just where he belongs. And they left him behind. When the circus closed that night, the manager made Ralph sweep up all the popcorn. Then he had to water the camels. After that, he had to carry the barbells for the strong man. The next day, Rotten Ralph did not want to work. He refused to be the target for the knife thrower, so the circus tough men threw him in a cage. Everybody has to work around here, Buster, the tough guys said, and they locked the door. The monkeys laughed and threw banana peels at Ralph. The elephants shot peanut shells at him and squirted water on him. Feeling kind of bad for him. A week later, Ralph had grown very thin. He had only been fed stale popcorn and rotten, rotten candied apples. That night, he decided to escape. Nobody heard him as he slipped between the bars. Ralph ran from the circus and found a place to sleep in an alley. During the night, he was awakened by gangs of mean and noisy cats. The rest of the night, he hid in a trash heap. He didn't dare make a sound, even though mice were nibbling on his toes. In the morning, he was cold and sick. He had caught an alley fever from sleeping in the trash heap. I'm lonely, he thought, and he began to cry. He was sitting on a trash can when Sarah found him. Oh, Ralph, I still do love you, she said. She was so happy, she hugged him and gave him a kiss on his cold nose. Maybe he'll change his ways now. On the way home, she told him she had been looking for him everywhere. She asked him where he had been and what he had been doing. Even Sarah's mother and father were happy to see Ralph again. We have missed you, Ralph, they said. 
Ralph kept thinking about his soft bed and warm milk. He also thought about how nice it was to have a good friend like Sarah. Ralph decided never to be rotten again. Except for sometimes when Mother cooked lobster for dinner. Boy, Ralph really was rotten. Could you make a list of all the things that he did that were rotten? That would be pretty cool. I can't wait to read it. And I can't wait for you guys to come back for another story. I love you guys. Bye.